Hi, I'm Dave Scott. I get lots of questions about eating healthy fats, and so I'm going to try to give you a little direction on what that really means. Uh, if we look at the fats in our society, we predominantly eat omega-6 fats as opposed to omega-3s, the healthy one, and the ratio is about 20 to 1, omega-6 to omega-3s. And if we look at the omega-6s, what are those and should we cut those down? Absolutely. Safflower oil, sunflower oil, canola oil, cottonseed oil, they all fall into that omega-6 category too many and they permeate our food industry. The omega-3s on the other side are the healthier ones. And we look at the omega-3s, what are good sources? Uh, if we look at grass-fed beef, that's a great one. Cold water fish, salmon, halibut, mackerel, uh, tuna, those all fall in that category. Avocados, uh, if, if we look at plant-based omega-3s, uh, borage seed oil, primrose oil, flaxseed, hemp, sacha inchi, that's a good one. Uh, those all fall into the great omega-3s. The conversion of the plant-based ones aren't as good as the beef or the fish. Also, if we look at the nuts, uh, the queen and king of, of nuts are almonds and walnuts. Walnuts have the highest conversion for omega-3s. Again, not as great, but the, they have a lot of great healthy compounds in them, so I'm a big nut fan, and you can add those. So how do you implement these into your diet? First off, I think regardless of what I just said about the types that we should also supplement and the supplement of omega-3s should have a higher percentage of the EPA form as opposed to the DHA form of omega-3s and if you can have a two to one ratio that's good look at the total supplement somewhere between 3,000 to 5,000 international units per day and in combination that eat those healthy omega-3s. So if you're having fish at least two to three times a week, if you're having grass-fed beef at least two to three times a week, the plant-based ones are good in a supplement because we can get a bigger dose. So if you're having primrose or borage seed or flaxseed, which you can add to a smoothie, um, that can be done uh, five days a week as a regular supplement. The flaxseed, I actually put that in a smoothie and that's a great way to get it. One last thing, you have to store all these fats in a dry, dark area. You can't have them exposed to sunlight or they oxidize. Also, if you're going to the big box stores, don't buy those big containers of omega-3s. The absolute best kind of omega-3, if you're purchasing power is pretty high, get krill oil. Uh, krill is contained in this phospholipid and it permeates the water and fat soluble membranes and also the retinal membrane. Uh, there's no side effect from the krill, in other words you're not going to burp it later on and a lot of times when you buy uh, the omega-3s from the big box stores people have told me well I keep burping that it's already gone rancid so again buy a smaller container from a reputable company make sure you're supplementing and start eating healthier good luck